I ain't that bad, kid. We caught the bastard, didn't we? Yeah. Man, I'm still going to prison. How much time am I looking at? Maybe none. What? How? You're a good kid, Lewis. Too good to be rotten in a cell for a few bonehead decisions. So from now on, I'm gonna personally see to it that you got someone looking out for you. But you got a cool role model. You mean Mr. Castle? No. Me. Really? You bet. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my pull to get the mayor to ask the DA to reduce your sentence down to probation. You've got that kind of clout with the mayor? Hell no. But Castle does. And I'm gonna see to it that he makes that call. Or else. So, so you're gonna beat up Mr. Castle if he doesn't do what you ask? Oh. Some role model. Yeah. I got a point. Looks like two of us are gonna have to do some role modeling for each other. Sound good? Uh-oh, you got that dumb look on your face again. Um, I don't know. I'm just confused about Beckett. That makes two of us. I mean, how's a holiday like that fall in love with a guy like you? Especially when there's a real man like me running around. Okay, Slaughter, you know what? I'll take a lot of crap from you, but not about Beckett. It's not a joke to me. Just trying to get your attention, Sherlock. Look, I don't know much. What I do know is that lady has it bad for you. And you feel the same. Your point? Whatever's going on with Beckett, she shouldn't have to go through it alone. Yes, well, I've tried. She won't let me in. Then quit asking permission. I lost my wife. Because I wasn't man enough to put her needs ahead of mine. But don't make the same mistake. You know what, Slaughter? For all your bluster and bravado, you were actually a wise and, dare I say, sensitive... Whoa, there, stop. Right there. <laughs> Only you could take two guys talking about a chick and make it weird. Sorry. Yeah, me too. Every time. Thank you. Whatever, Sherlock. 